Celebrating America's independence begins in Warner Robins this weekend with a concert and huge fireworks display. Before you head out, let's talk about what needs to stay home. Captain Lee Ostall with the Warner Robins Police Department explains. Obviously no weapons, firearms or weapons of any kind, pocket knives, anything that we may deem could be a weapon, we're, we're going to have people, they're not going to be allowed to bring it in. Other banned items include alcohol, outside food or open drinks, large coolers, rolling coolers, hard-sided coolers, large umbrellas or tents, drones and pets, unless it's a service animal. However, there are some items that are allowed, like clear bags, along with other items such as. Soft-sided coolers that have sealed drinks in them is allowed, okay, smaller coolers. Um, also, they can bring their own lawn chairs or some kind of like a camp chair that is folding chair to, to sit in. You can also bring diaper bags and small coolers for medical purposes like insulin. Oslo says all items will be searched before coming through the gates. We have had people that have tried to sneak weapons in. We've had people throw them over the fence in the past, but we, we are looking out for that. Like I said, we got our own drones in the air and we've got men and women that are paying attention to that kind of stuff and he says they've arrested those people. He adds that more than 50 officers will be on site for the Independence Day event this Saturday. Ostall says people can expect traffic around the time of the event. He added that South Davis Drive to Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard will be closed to vehicle traffic when the live performance starts, which is from 6 p.m. to 11 p.m., possibly later.